All right, what is this map? It is Jules Verne's Mysterious Isle. That's why I picked it. It looked kind of neat, interesting. Got little creatures down here. Okay. We're blue, third in the turn order. There is one bot, because they wanted a bot. Whoever hosts this lobby. These are the bonuses. Three, four, four, six, five, four, three, and five. Don't know how hard they are to hold. Where are we strong at? We are blue. We have eight right here in this bonus that it would give plus four. I could maybe grab that on my first turn. Don't know if we would be able to hold it, but we could try to grab it. We only have one here. We have three, six, eight, eleven over here. We're even stronger over here. Lava Land, Lake Grant, plus three. Honestly, if I could get and hold this, that'd be pretty strong. Um, I could work on fortify these into like one big grouped up thing. Ooh, they left it. Interesting, okay. They just want to fortify some stuff up. I got lucky left there. It makes it easier to grab. Four beasts, one. We stack some here. We grab that. It is a one, two, three, four point hold. Ooh, there goes two of my troops. Bummer. And that also stops these two from fortifying to each other. So good luck, you fortify away. Bad luck, you attack there. Looks like you're going for the shark goal for the lava land. All right, so we are... I think what we do is we grab this and then we do a trust exercise. See if anybody wants to break us not. So two here to guarantee that. Uh, one over to here. And then we are going to grab this for turn one bonus. And hope that nobody wants to break us. And I'm actually going to fortify this over to here. Work on trying to work this down to here. I'm not going to sweat too much trying to hold four points for plus four because it's just it's just four points is just too much to hold. The white player might be going down for this plus three. It's a lot of territories to grab. Seven territories to get only a plus three bonus. And then once they hold it, it is a... Once they have it, it's a one... Oh, that's just a boss. So the boss can do whatever. That is a one, two... Three, four, five. This is a terrible bonus. It's a five point hold for only a plus three. My bonus is way better. Four point hold for a plus four. So that's a stinky bonus. You don't want that. What about this plus four over here? It is a one, two, three point hold for plus four. So once you grab this, this is actually easier to hold than this is. Western Forest is a one, two, three, four, five point hold for plus six. The black player breaks this. Okay. Now we have knowledge on how the black player plays. That was worthwhile knowledge that we have. The black player has also made a permanent enemy. So, that's just something to be aware of. We get some knowledge on how a player plays, and if things are going poor for us, poorly for us, we will do everything we can to destroy the black player. That is the danger of breaking somebody's bonus in the first turn, is they will hold a grudge on you forever. Even if somebody else breaks my bonus later on, my eyes will most likely still be forever uh, set on them. All right, so... Most likely, unless something else really does something to me here. All right, so what are we looking at over here? Uh, plus five amount. Franklin is a one, two, three, four point hold. Lava Land is a, oh, that's a lot of point hold. One, two, three, four, five, six point hold. That's a lot. Uh, this over here, this plus three in the Shark Gulf is a three point hold. So I think Washington Bay and Shark Gulf are kind of like the, some of the easier ones to hold. Has anybody left me become a bot? Probably not. So just keep an eye on things around here. We've got us here. Now, it seems like the, the only bot is the actual bot. So they have their bonus. I wonder if the black player is going to break them. That's the question. What I'm going to do here is... I mean, I can't move this down without going through you guys. I'm actually going to stack here. I'm going to try this again. I imagine the black player will break me again. Most likely. But I am going to, again, do a trust exercise. Just for the knowledge. I mean, I don't have to be the only one holding, like, nobody else got and hold a, uh, nobody else has held a bonus yet, so I don't need to worry about having that crazy of an advantage, and, um, the bot's still going crazy over there. Now, if Magenta gets to hold their bonus this turn, and I don't, well, then that we may have a problem with, because the red, like, the black player, they could stack one here, break Magenta, and then have this come down here and break me. And if they choose to break Magenta, not me, oh boy, unfriendly experience there. So, looks like they decided to not break us. Hmm, antagonistic move from the black player, but also not. They didn't break Magenta, but they also did not break me. It would have been very easy to run this down here and break me. They could stack three here and break me. They didn't. But, they also fortify very heavily over here. Maybe I can you know, calm down, have a more mature mindset, and offer the black player an alliance. You broke me that one turn, but you didn't break me this turn. But you are fortifying strong against my borders here. Let's calm down. Let's get along. 
Let's be homies. There we go. Okay, we've 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 formed a reconciliation here. I need to like I need to drop my noob mindset of you break me once and it's uh, it's the end of the world. I think like more experienced players don't react the way I did at the start of the match here when they first broke me. They react with with all right, they broke me. Whatever, we can try and calm things down and you know form an uneasy alliance, f uh, and then that can benefit us both. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So question is, does somebody else break me? Magenta is stacking over here, which makes it so I can't get my five into here. Nobody broke Magenta, by the way. Magenta just getting a card and chilling. And nobody broke us. Okay. So all we need to, I guess nobody wants to break us. All we need to worry about is, I think holding more than one bonus on this map, very ambitious. I think we need to get a card somewhere. Uh, we could tack red right there, I guess. Let's put, um, I'll keep mine one below yours as like an act of trust. Put the rest over to, eh, put a couple over here, I think. These over to here. Let's attack. I don't, I won't attack a one stack. I just want to get a card here. We attack there and then we fortify right back over to here. And so far we have kind of like a good neighbor situation thing going on. I don't mind having my extra bonuses here. I don't know why people are deciding to let me have this bonus, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll vibe with this. Um, sometimes a break can be a slow down rather than I'm a mortal enemy. That's true, noob. That's true. It is very much, it is very much like a, a, a dangerous, like that, that, like that right there, noob, uh, I'm talking to somebody in chat here, I noob no more. Um, they, that's like a grandmaster mentality of like, cause like my instinct is like, you break me once, oh, game on. But that's like the, that's like the, the, the new player in me. Of like, yeah, a single attack, I hate you forever. Like, the more mature risk mind is kind of like a little more chill. Of like, all right, okay, they attacked, they broke up one. Not the end of the world, we can kind of catch up, even off the board a little bit, you know. I need to work on my, like, maturing my risk mindset. Okay, but we're doing pretty well. The fact that we held a bonus for a single turn at all has helped us out a lot. We've got 25 troops, you've got 27, 26. Yeah, we're, we're all, it's all pretty even on the board troops wise right now. We're doing all right. The green player is blocking the black player from getting their bonus, which is great for uh, everybody else, apart from you two. The red player is just putting stacks. Do we have a bunch of like experienced players? I'm seeing a lot of people doing stacks, like, because this is usually like experienced player thing to do. Have mo like two or three stacks across the board position for eliminations, makes it hard to get yourself pushed out. I think what we need to do is keep an eye on when to limit the bot. I don't think we're going to hold more than one bonus. I think the most most bonuses anybody's going to hold right here is one, I imagine. Like, we're not going to hold the Western Forest. Late Grant, unlikely. These guys don't want my seven to catch up to... I would love for this to get down to here. These guys seem inclined to just staying in my way from fortifying that up. Are you going to break me this time? I mean, I can break you right back. Yeah. All right, that's fine. And... Where do we want to do things? I get the bot right here for one would be easy. Let's put a couple over here. Be fine. Oh, let's keep tensions. I don't want to escalate tensions with you. That's fine. Get stronger over here into the bot. Let's like keep ourselves lined up for a bot elimination, I think would be the play. And then we'll fortify this back onto here. And I mean, there's, the upside to them doing this is they kind of block the, the bots not gonna be able to roll through this five, this nine, and the six to get to me, break me here. The bot could come through here to break me. My main concern right now from getting broken is the bot. The other players have shown that they're just pretty super chill with me having these bonuses. I don't know why. Like, if I'm red or green, it's it's crazy that red and green are just like, yeah, sure, have these bonuses while we don't. Get an extra plus four and plus three per turn while they don't. But I'm cool with it. I'll take it. I don't like that black stacking troops over there. I think black's about to break me. I mean, again, if they break me, not the end of the world. But yeah, okay, at least at least break magenta as well. Like if you're gonna break me here, also break magenta. I would expect somebody to be breaking magenta and I. Ooh, that that is an act of aggression. That is an act of aggression on the part of the black player. They have stacked their two big stacks next to my big stacks. And they have stacked this stack over here. The, the black player is not really playing the social game exceptionally well. They're playing in a very antagonistic manner. It's like they're almost lining up to eliminate me. It's like they want to card trade and eliminate me. 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know what their place. Maybe they want to go into here and grab this, or I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the black player is doing. They have three stacks, and their three stacks are literally touching my three stacks. That's not a very friendly maneuver. Not a friendly maneuver at all. Hmm. It, it feels like they're specifically just stacking next to me. I mean... Oh man, you are... You're doing strong there, Magenta. I'm getting. I'm only getting one more troop per turn than they are. Um... Okay, you're stacking over there. You're stacking stronger next to me over here. I, I feel threatened. I feel very threatened with how people are just stacking next to me. Please don't fortify back. Give me... Yes, give me a path to cut this onto here. Thank you. I don't feel like having that stack over there helps me that whole a whole lot. I'm not going to card trade here. I am going to... Um, I, I want to... We can attack the bot here for a card. But I want to also... I'll, we'll attack here for a card and fortify there. Let's stack these here. I don't feel the need to card trade here. The card trade is so small. Anybody trying to eliminate me for cards? Right? If anybody tries to eliminate me for cards right now, they're just, they'll just lose the match. I have 38 troops. The card trades right now in progressive here are very small. It's only four. The bot trades in on three. Sorry, I bumped my mic there. So moving around here. Hmm. Defend against black, they're saying? I, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, what do you mean defend against them? Like, you defend them from breaking me? If the black player wanted to break me, they already could have. They haven't for a few turns. I just don't understand why they're stacking next to me. Are they stacking near to, near me for protection, maybe? Are they trying to, like, create choke points across the board? I don't know. Like, is I'm I'm worried that like maybe the the black player is some kind of like grandmaster who has some strategies I don't understand. Maybe like we have an alliance and they're trying to create choke points. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to attack my ones and limit me to a like a smaller portion of the board. I, I have no idea what's going on. All I know is the black player broke me once. We formed an alliance, and now they're just kind of hanging out near me. They want to be near me. I don't know if that's an act of aggression or if that's some expert grandmaster level play to create choke points. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe it's just one of these things where like these, this is just good board positioning for them. You know, their optimal play is a position here and here to block off kills and secure kills. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Maybe they just want this over here to eliminate the the bot for cards. That would make sense, right? Maybe this moving over here has nothing to do with me. Ooh, the red player breaks magenta. An act of antagonism. Uh, we got the spud in chat saying it's just board position. Okay, so it's not... So it's, it feels like there's trap position near me, but it's just like a strategic board position. Okay. I gotta calm down and stop taking everything personal. <laughs> I'm coming here with this, like, beginner mentality where, like, I get a, a, emotional because you, st you stood near me, too close near me, right? Personal space, my personal bubble. I guess we're thinking like a grandmaster, right? Like an expert. Ooh, that's a big stack from Magenta. They're not worried about holding their bonus. Why people let, keep letting me hold my bonus is crazy. I'll take it. Force card trade on five here. These. Oh, what is this? First time playing this map. Pretty cool. Um, I guess we're going to stack. I don't know, like this many of it over here, and I guess uh, try to keep the stacks. So wait, no, I need to actually be able to attack this over here. So let's do this. The rest go over to here. There we go. We got two big juicy stacks. Should I just go for one stack? I don't even know if I should or not. Fortify this over to here. I mean, having one stack... I don't know. I don't know if I should have one stack or two. I've got 53 troops. I'm well in the lead on troops. Magenta's close second. The fact that I've been the only one holding a bonus on this map is absolutely wild. <laughs> Lol, get out of my bubble, they say. <laughs> my personal space. Alright, so... What do I do with this? What do I do with this? What I don't do is let somebody get the bot kill and then kill chain to take me out, right? Being aware of if people can hurt you is important skill. True. I mean, that's just an important life skill in general, too. Uh-oh. Oh, they're making the devil face. Uh-oh, they're, uh -oh, they're frowning. Why? Who are you mad at and why? Who are you mad at and why? Card trade? Are you mad at the... Are you mad at the, the, the bot? Surely not. Surely not mad at the bot. Did the bot attack them last turn? And now they're mad about it, and they're, is is black player a, a noob? And they don't realize the white player's a bot? Oh, they get their bonus. I I, I got no read on you. I mean, they took their they, their actions were very quick right there. 
Hmm. They were thinking about fortifying over here. I got no I got no read on the black player. But they now have a plus four bonus. On a three point hold. Alright. But I like this because they no longer have Ooh, green trades in for 15, okay. It is progressive, so the bonuses do help you get to a strong early start, but you can definitely come back from never having a bonus by chaining kills. And, okay, you're just getting a card there. Still, nobody breaking me is wild. I'll take it, though. I don't know if they were, like, mad at the bot or just emoting for something else. I don't know. It's hard to read people. We want to get that bot kill eventually, right? Like, I'm, in, I'm ahead on troops. I would like to stop people from getting the bot kill if I can. Um, here's a problem. This 23 is trapped. I can only go through you, and then through that is not great. I need somebody to attack this one to free that. I mean, eventually, hopefully they will. Um... Hmm. The only real strong kill line is on black. Yeah. It's not where I want to be. It's not really where I want to be. I, I want to get my line on the, the white... I mean, if these guys if these guys are good, and they play to block me from killing the white bot, that's good. I don't have to get the first kill. If anything, I can try to position to block a kill would be pretty good. There's a kill guard up top on bot. Yeah, they got that right there. I mean, if if, if Magenta moves right here, that, that's a kill guard keeping it away from me, seven for us. Well, I only want to attack a one, so let's put these right here. I think these guys are intentionally not attacking here to keep my 23 traps. So maybe we should start stacking more over here. We'll attack for a card over here. But hey, if these guys want to keep letting me have this bonus, like, I'll take it. I will take it. Ooh, 20 troop treatment. We're, we're reaching the point where an elimination might be worthwhile. The bot's got 18 right there. Bot card trade stacked heavily next to me. Don't love that. Oh, they're going to attack the 10. That's devastating for the red player. Absolutely devastating for red. They're down to 26 troops. Now they're looking like a prime elimination. Oh, man. Hmm. If I'm the black player, I might even consider fortifying that away <laughs> because I'm fixing to move out of there. Nope, they're putting stronger on it. You don't want to. You don't want to stack in the way of my 23. I might have to push that out of there. I could fortify my 23 up to here. Honestly, that that's what I should have done. Ooh, what's this happening? Did you? Who are you attacking? More of magenta? Not paying attention. I fortify this 23 up to here. If the black player wanted to break me, they could have easily done it a while ago. We have it stacked up here, where I have paths, right? Honestly, if people break me at this point, like I'm not going to fight them too hard for it. I've already gained such an advantage for holding this for so long. Ooh, they're going for the elimination on the red player. Do they get the dice? They need good dice. They need very good dice. That wasn't good dice. They need very good dice. And they get the very good dice. 13 versus 13 was not a guaranteed uh, elimination. That's great for them. But they're not a 28 troops. They have card trade. Gets them. We'll get them back in it. Oh, if they could, if they chain kills here, we're in trouble. This is what I was worried about, them chaining kills. Um, who has the least troops right now? The bot, but they only have one card. You have four cards. Ooh. Oh, attack that four, attack that four. Ooh, they're, are they going for the bot? They're going for the bot as well for one extra card. The one card from the bot would give, take their four up to five, which, oh, lose. Oh, they lost the 89% chance. They're going to push through Magenta. Oh, they're attacking Magenta? What are you up to now? They, they they went for the bot kill a little bit and they failed. Oh. Oh, they're they're they they want they want that bot kill. They're fixing to get it next turn if they can. Ooh, and the car trade from Magenta. Luckily I'm the, right now I'm the second biggest on troops, so hopefully they don't go for me. I'm not a prime target. Um, are you gonna go for the bot? That's not a good position to go for the bot. That's not that's not prime for the bot. The bot only has one. Are you going to go for green? They're all across the board. Plus seven for us. We card trade 100% for safety here. That's huge. Do I take out the bot for single card? I don't think so. Um, 42. I could take out... Uh, what's the card trade? I could take you out for 40. I think it's worth it. 32 hits this. And this takes out the rest. I think we take out the black player for four cards here. I think that is a good play for us. Sorry, buddy. Um, but it's just that's how the cookie crumbles, right? And make sure I path this properly. And it's just it's just good business. It's just good timing. I need to not let somebody else chain like three kills in a single turn. I need this one for myself. Thank you. Take those four cards. Gives us another trade. Another trade here. 
gives us four, yeah that uh, that does that undoes all the damage we just experienced. Uh, do I go for the bots? I like that red thing to go away. No, I could go for green. Do I do I go for green? I think we go for green. We go for green. We need to act quickly here. Otherwise we'll run out of time. The pathing is gonna be the hardest part, I think. Get green out of here. They're very strong. They're saying good game. Thank you. I don't know if I have the pathing here. Um, I can go. I think this way will be fine. Hit this. Also lines me up for magenta. I think we do precisely that. We hit over here. We hit this. Leave just enough to take that out. Seven gets it done exactly. Good luck. Thank you. I would type in. I, I would email back, but I'm a little bit busy here trying to chain a double kill, maybe a triple here. There we go. First the black player, then green, and then magenta. Give me these here. Um, I need uh, this. Oh, wait, that, that doesn't reach you. I can't get you this turn. You do not have a card trade. Let's put enough here to take your stack out would be good. And then these here to take that stack out. This I thought this 39, 39 reached there. It did not. I should not have moved them all over there. That's a misplay on my part. Let's go ahead and hit this here. I'm not going to make it easier to take the bot out. I'm not going to kill the bot for a single card. I'm going to fortify this over to here. That way, as you run through your turn, luckily they didn't have a card trade. That's good. Why is there a little red circle around your name there? Let's recenter the board here a little bit for funsies. It's looking really good. I don't know how they could come back from this. They don't have a card trade. Neither does the bot. Getting my all my bonuses broken here doesn't matter. My 39 is just going to fall down wherever you do and take you out. I have a card trade on five. Like taking out the black player and then chaining that into the green and then damaging magenta a lot makes it very, very strong. Um, oh, Spud in chat saying no kill what you trade for one cards. Ah, you're right. I could have got... You're right, I could have uh, taken out the white bot, gotten the one card, trade again, take out Magenta, and I could have gotten the quad kill in a single turn. You're right, you're right. I could have quad killed in a single turn. But hey, that's fine. Learning lesson. That's fine. I'm not worried. Are you going to take out the bot for two cards? You still won't be able to trade with that. I think they're trying to take out the bot for two cards. It's not going to be enough. They don't even have to do it. They don't have enough troops to do it. They're just making it easier to take them out. Honestly, they, there's nothing they could do. And if the bot had more cards, maybe... I've got 104 troops in the board. I've got a five. There's nothing they could have done. Unless they had like five cards to start the turn. The bot had five cards. They could have yoinked and gotten like a double trade. Would have been about it. Well played. Yep, that's it. That's going to be a good game. Well played. And once they end their turn here, we will go ahead and clean it up. And get the job done. Um, This 39 just follows you all the way back through, I think. Card trade. Whatever. Stack. I, just in case I like screw up pathing, I'm going to put a few in various locations just for like, you know, in case of an oopsie. But I think this stack right here should be able just to, I don't even need a slider. It should just follow it all the way through the path you made. Oops. Uh, I mean, I guess I can't, I guess that can't attack there, but I need you to do all the damage all the way through. I can click my thing a little bit faster here. Um, did I take out the bot first? I mean, we can, right? Sure. As an act of kindness. Take out the bot first, and then you. And that'll have been us eliminating four of the players. Green took out one. Yeah, we put those right there. Wrap it up right here with a lovely little two elimination on one turn, a double elimination on one turn, and then double elimination on the next. Worked out great. Why they let me hold that plus four? The entire match is beyond me. But there it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch, too. There were two experts and a master. or oh, crushing. But that's it. See you next time.